about our native bees and what you can do to protect them. Before we talk about our native bees, let's talk about pollinators and bees in North America. We have over 4,000 different kinds of bees here. They come in all sorts of shapes, sizes, and colors. They use their tongue to collect nectar on the flowers. And while they're doing that, pollen is sticking to their hairs on their body. And as they move from flower to flower, they are dropping some of that pollen off. And that's pollination. Most people have heard about honeybees because they create that delicious honey. But honeybees are actually not from North America. They're from Europe or some parts of Africa. Honeybees are great for pollination and are used in a lot of our crops here in Eugene, such as hazelnuts, uh, garden vegetables, and native flowers. Native bees are amazing at pollinating though. They can do it better than the honeybees because they have a lot more hair on their body. Native bees are also very mild mannered, so they're not prone to uh, sting you if they come close to you. They usually live as solitary bees, so they don't live in a, in a hive like honeybees do. Usually they live in tall grasses or in the ground or in trees. Let's learn more about these bees. The first bee we're going to talk about today is our mason bees. Mason bees are one of the most common native bee that we have here. They are very small, maybe the size of your pinky nail, and usually are black or shimmery blue. They use small holes in wood to create their nests. And the reason they're called mason bees is because they use mud to pack into their nest in between their eggs to keep their eggs safe. In the spring, they emerge from their cocoon and pollinate for a very short time and lay their eggs in a new hole and then they die. They are very docile and easy to take care of. So a lot of people like to have them in their backyards to pollinate their, their crops or their flowers. The next bees are leaf cutter bees. And like their neighbor, the mason bees, they also use holes in trees to have their nests. They collect most of their pollen on the underside of their bodies where they have lots and lots of hair. Leaf cutters are really unique because they use their jaws to cut small circles out of leaves to build their, their nests. There are lots of different types of leaf cutters that use different types of leaves and use different sized holes to make their home. Some of the most common leaves they use are in roses, pasta, and lilac. Bumblebees are only social native bee. They like to live in hollow tree trunks and old bird nests, but their favorite spot is underground. They are really great because they like to forage on all kinds of different flowers and they have a pollen basket on their legs so that they can hold on to their pollen. They look for food from February to all the way to November. And then once they're ready to hibernate, they will grab a little bit of honey for their eggs and then they will close up their home for winter.